we're down on the coast this time we have we've got a couple of pots and there's an old pot that my uncle gave me that we stashed last year around the nab it's about an hour away so we're going to go and get that it's a proper pot and we're going to bring that back here and see if we can uh, rig it up and hopefully catch some brown crabs or lobsters <laughs> or nothing as per usual but we'll have a look because it's fun I'm here with I'm here with none other than <laughs> what are you doing here? In... Here he is. <laughs> Come down one of my famous quiet weekends. <laughs> Can't get away from him, look. Following me everywhere. So, yeah, we're going to stash our bags and crack a beer and walk over. I'm not going to take you guys for this bit because it's a bit treacherous. What beers are we having? We're not, guns not even really going to show you. This is just. When 12 are just not enough. Yeah, when 12 aren't enough. There we go, we got it. Still there after all these years. Joe's in his, in his Coleman. I'm in my Helm 2. I'm glad to be in my Helm 2 as well. After spending a good few nights hiking across the country in that little tent, it's nice to have something with a bit of room in it. And then it's the usual suspects as far as sleeping bags and sleeping mat goes. We've got plenty of wood. We've got some pans to cook the crabs in, if we get some. We've got a couple of an am amazing Northern Monk beers to show you. That look... Kale Surprise. That look amazing. We'll maybe show them one before we go. No, we might. But it's getting to low tide now, so we're going to uh, fill our pots and get down there. I'm going to switch to my little camera. We've been busy. We've got three pots out. We've got a collapsible pot. Our pot off my uncle Pete that we left last time and also we found this beast of a thing and we've rigged them up with uh, mackerel and squid tied them off and just that's it, we'll just leave it to the gods and we're just foraging for let's have a look at this, I'll show you this uh, made these just Got some lengths of steel and just put little bends on them and so you can get under rocks and have a look, try and get some bigger crabs out. We found a few velvet crabs. Um, we're just going to get some winkles and some limpets, see what else we can find, have a beer or two and then we're going to go back to camp. So yeah, we're getting a couple of pots on. Paul pots and... Pamela pots? That didn't exist, there's no one called that. No, I just... I Paul like Potts name. and Johnny Potton. Johnny Potton? Oh, yeah, right, there you go then, that's that. I've had better out of that way. Yeah? So, kelp. It's full of nutrients. Not bad. We've got limpets. The wee horn devil. Yeah, as always, top two. Keep the. Uh, let's have a look at a more appropriate one. That's a big lad. You keep the upper claw off your uh, off your swimmer crab or your velvet crab or your devil crab, or whatever. And they're perfect for getting out your your periwinkles. Or for its own meat, like just, just rummaging about. Velvet crabs, better than lobster in my opinion, what are you saying? Absolutely. Flavour-wise. Flavour-wise, flavor I mean you don't get much meat, but... Flavour-wise, it's better than a lobster. By my very good friends down at Northern Monk, Patrons, Raspberry Ripple Donut IPA, IPA 6.3%. <clears throat> it is a Jonathan McPeeler, so we will have a look. We will have a look. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Okay, it's a collaboration with, you'll see on the picture there, 
They do look good, don't they? Them really nice donuts. <laughs> <laughs> look excellent. So who have we got to shout out? We need to shout someone out. There you go. If you don't know, now you know. All them lot. They're all the patrons. But this one is... Temple Coffee and Donuts. Here we go. Rock Red v Rock Vino Dil Did Fleur. Pretty drunk now, like. We don't like red. We got... Really? Now we've got into white. We've got into white. We accidentally but, got a red. Yeah. Accidentally got a Merlot. Messed it up. Merlot on totally the go. Totally messed it up. That's horrible. Undeniably delicious. <laughs> I love it. You didn't look convinced though. So I feel, I feel convinced. Morning. <laughs> Glampers. <sighs> Got a bit buck wild on the old um, red wine last night. Toasting Anthony Bourdain, who is legitimately one of our heroes. He's in, I don't have many people I look up to or idolise, but he was someone that when I found out he'd killed himself, I was absolutely gutted. We both were. So. Uh, we dedicated last night to him and we swilled, swilled rouge into the night. So we're feeling a little bit, a little bit soft headed, like a peel of crab, peel of crab heads we've got on. So we're going to go and check our pots now. We'll, I'll bring you in if we've, well, we'll have a look live and direct at what we've got if we've got anything. <laughs> hey, look. Von, von Tittage. He's struggling, look. He's struggling. Right, we checked the pots. Nada. Absolutely nada. A little rockling in one of them. And a swimmer crab in another. That was it. Nothing worth writing home about. And uh, it's a really high, low tide. So. We've still got one pot that's active and then the other two we've just retired so we don't hold out much hope in getting anything with the pots. <laughs> Back to bed and we'll try some fishing at high tide. Knobsack, knobsack, one, two, three. Yeah. We've had it, we've not had it all our own way, so we've got a couple of uh, northern monks to go at, obviously. So we'll just get into this straight away. Yeah. So this cover your face because it doesn't like there you are, look. There you are. Lovely little can with a candle on it. Can dull. And this is Northern Monk, it's a patron's project. Rhubarb sour, 6%. That's gonna stove your napper in. And it came with this on the bottom of it, which I believe is popping candy. So we'll have this with the beer and see if it enhances or takes away from the experience. This is Joey D, he's here with me today. To, to help and support me drink these beers. Satisfy. I should let you see first. Cut this in up. Satisfying. Lord Whitney, our, uh, our connoisseurs of make believe, a studio creating worlds and experiences through art, direction, and set design. Beautiful. Made in the dark. Because that's what um, rhubarb is made in the dark. The forced rhubarb is a lot sweeter than natural rhubarb, so they, they grow it in huge dark sheds in, in the, the rhubarb triangle in Yorkshire. And they just put little holes in the top, so it's, the rhubarb strives to get up and it becomes really pink and sweet. 
A bit like veal. <laughs> Vegetarian veal. Any way. Uh, do you want to do the honours? That's yours, young smegma. Man's all got, man's got dead ants in it. Well, it's got a, it's got that pinkness to it. Look at this little bag of crystal meth. Does it smell good? Right, let me have a Dennis Bird Camp. Oh, it's it smells sour, doesn't it? Lovely colour on it. Let's have some of this crystal meth. <laughs> the Willy Wonkers of Craft Ale. Right, come on, let's let's get some of this crystal meth down as. You're just doing the whole thing in one. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I don't mind. One hit. Are you? Or just yeah. a little bit first, because we might come up too quick. <laughs> might be scared. Oh yeah. Sweet and sour, go. See you on the flip side. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain, indeed. Mm. <laughs> it's fun. That's fun. Not them for ages, it's weird. Mm. Not crazy, that is so it's still going. I'm not sure it adds to the bit. It, it does because it's, it's added to my whole overall experience in life just now. Delightful. Let's just show you what we're looking at. This little shelf bit and Yeah, I don't I don't like I don't I don't need the sweet. I don't need <laughs> Just mumble it to fucking ground. Right, I swore there, so sorry about that. Every time I swear, I'm going to give some money to charity. And when I say charity, I mean our beer fund. Cash in hand. Cash. Cash only. Send us cash. Send us cash. If you want to send us any beers, just send us the cash in envelopes. <laughs> any cash. Cash, coins. Any denomination. Any, cash. Just coins. Send us all your coins to <laughs> PO Box. <laughs> Euros and dollars as well. Send us all your, them. yeah, your bat. Send us your holiday money you've come back with. Yeah, send we'll us take travellers' checks. <laughs> <laughs> Silver nit, like, all of it. Nah. Monopoly money. Monopoly money. Just anything that looks like hard cash. <laughs> We'll have it. Don't Bottle. tell the tax man. No, don't tell the tax man it. either, yeah, because we'll have milk bottle tops, anything. <laughs> anything shiny. Cans, cans, <laughs> cans, empty cans, tins, any tins. <laughs> <laughs> anything magnetic. Anything, oh, magnetic, <laughs> yeah. And send it to uh, P.O. Box, Magpie Studios. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fish hooks, all that. <laughs> Send us your fish up. Send us all your old fishing tackle. Nah, this is gone. <laughs> Not even drunk. I do love rhubarb. Tell them that. It's growing very well on, <laughs> it's growing very well on my allotment this year. He's growing, well. he's growing it on his allotment. It's flowered as well. Impressive flower, very large. But no, flower one, no one cares about that. We only care about Absolutely rhubarb. Little, tiny white flower. If it's in beer form. Made it into a nice fridge jam. Did you? Yeah. Goes really well in your porridge on a, of a morn. If it's all, if it, I mean, if, the, if that's picking it up, I mean, I'm not projecting, but if that's picked up, that's good. That'll leave that in. And also, if you want to buy some fridge jam, <laughs> <laughs> send us your shiny things. Ch send us Anything. hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Chicken worth wire. Of shiny things. <laughs> well, I'm not. A shell. A break. Yeah. Nice point break. Long workable rides. 
Point Break. Back did they remake that? Yeah. They did remake. Have you watched it? They ha no, on principle I will not watch it because our IP... But it's been done? Yeah. Right. For the modern times. But I heard it was cat because I can't watch it because Point Break's my favourite film of all time. I'd imagine it's pretty cool. Yeah, I've heard it was bad and, you know, R.I.P. Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Fulmer. 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 I like a Fulmer, actually. Oh, They're yeah. very squat, compact. Yeah. Goal, aren't they? Yeah. The yeah. Fulmer. If it, very if it, tight. If it was a person, it would probably be... Like a weight lift, no, like a what would it be? Um, odd job, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, odd job. Off, uh, if it was in, if you were looking for birds to be in, birds that look like baddies, henchmen, like second degree baddies in Bond films, <laughs> then yeah, looks like odd job. And if you go odd job when you're playing Goldeneye, you're a cheat. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, not that you play Goldeneye. Not that it's surprised they're not remade Goldeneye. Probably have, but we're not. We don't. We don't f with it. I've got time to play computer games. Too busy slurping. No, it looks. It looks amazing, actually. Well done, Nomad Clan. I think you go really well with your scatter cushions. I don't have scatter cushions, mate. There you go. Look. It's beautiful. Beautiful design. Took me Is there? Red one. Here we go. Ant McPartland. Satisfying. And then it just says a bit more about Nomad Clan. Go follow them on Instagram. Check out their work. It's amazing. They do huge wall murals. Murals. Yeah, you like, can see all pots. Yeah, you see all pots and all reasons why we Hundreds don't of them. catch anything. We were on a rock. We haven't done any filming at all on this one, have we? Really? We've been fishing all day, trapping. We've been doing all sorts, but risking our lives. Risking our lives, but just CBA for to nothing. film. Yeah, for nothing. We were we were on a rock out at sea, <laughs> and we got absolutely smashed by waves, didn't we? Yeah. We lost all our bait. We nearly got washed off the rocks. It was an absolute disaster, really. And also, the, for the people that know, will know, but there's been, uh, there's a ban on catching, um, well, no, taking home any bass of any size for any um, fisherman. So even off a boat, if you're fishing, or just off the shore, you're not allowed to take any bass for 2018. So with that in our minds, and the mackerel are in yet just up here, so... We've not got many fish. Anywho, anywho, it's the taking part that counts. Well, that smells really delicious and really sweet. David Baddiel. It does smell delicious. There's some fruit coming through there. Yeah. Milk sugar. 7.4% of pure, unadulterated, mindless fun. Let's get it down us. Oh man. Look at that. Wow. It looks very similar as well. It looks very thick. Yeah. And I'd just like to say, I know like we're toasting there. Uh, in fact, I'm dedicating this whole video to Anthony Bourdain, all of it. But uh, as a little side note as well, R.I.P. to String, R.I.P. R.I.P. to Stringfellow. Yeah, he's definitely died. He's definitely dead. How old is he? I don't know really. I've, he's not affected my life in the same way as Bourdain. But Bourdain was what 61, did they say? 61 years young. Uh, well, I can't go on about it too much, but it's it's a terrible shame. He was a legend, an he absolute was. legend in the game, man. He's our well, one of our heroes, isn't he? I don't know why that sort of no, it's like um, I don't know why that's there. There's a finish that's not particularly nice. It's like a um, 
when you have a grapefruit that's not ripe or something like that that's a bit too fierce I don't know where that's coming from because surely mango and passion fruit purees are just pure sweet mm. and then it's the hops almost like when it's like a mango's green not right yeah it's not very nice Maybe they forgot to take the seeds out of the mangoes or, or not the like skin it. off the mango before they blitzed it into a puree. Yeah, I'm not getting it. It, it. I think that should be a sweety, sweet finish, but it's like, something's not hitting. Why well, have I found a beer from Northern Monk that I'm not overly keen on? I'd say for you, you're absolutely slating it. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, for me, this is scathing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is like. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Nine out of ten. I want to, yeah. I want you to score it. This should be interesting. Come on. Be right, honest. Uh, I've got to take be everything honest. into account. So the can, that's it. No. Yeah. Yes. The taste of the beer. The whole experience for me is the can. Brilliant. Rubbish. The service, because I got Absolutely. some delivered actually. And the service Terrible. was amazing. If you get them, if you just go on the uh, Northern Monk website and order some uh, it's dis- beers, it's disgusting. They're ex. It? What? It's not. Order some. They come all perfectly packaged. Came in no time. Excellent service. So with that being said, <laughs> the cans are fantastic. Don't make me. <laughs> Don't make me. Oh, I really wanted. I thought this was going to be the one as well. I I'd, I'd have sworn it was going to be really good. Yeah. I'd have picked that out, saying that that would be good. That. Yeah. That They'll do that well. Yeah. Right. They've lost their heads. You're, you've lost your head. That's the divide. <laughs> Remember that always. Right. The smell was delicious. The, t- the feeling in the mouth's lovely. <laughs> but let me tell you this. Oh, I, the, ma- the, the finish isn't up to... Isn't... It's all right. <laughs> Now the finish isn't up to much. It's a bad finish. <laughs> it's a terrible finish. You've skied it off at bad. Right then. Bear grills. So all my trinkets in my pockets, man. Bear trinkets. I've got bear trinkets. Would you like to tell the people at home what you've got there? Whoops. Oh, I got a signal. Never. Ah, loads of girls. Shout it out, mate. This, this is what happens all the time. This is a... Shout out Bren3000. Shout out Chris Hazy54. Shout out Rough Timber, 1973. Shout out Joey D's dad. <laughs> Come on then. You ma- you sit back a little bit so that I don't look like I'm too small. Come I'm on. bored of everything you stand for. Oh my God, I stand for you. You don't stand for me. Do you think I look swole nowadays? Oh, that's not even tensing. Come on, do it. X parrot. Do you know what that'll be a reference to? X parrot. X parrot. It's a reference to a. Is it a reference to a sketch yes. from uh, Monty Python? Yes, it is. It is. Worked that one out. He worked it out with his <laughs> two brain cells. No, there's one. There's two. Uh, this has got uh, pineapple, passion fruit, guava, mango, pink grapefruit, and lime. <laughs> That's too much stuff, is it? <laughs> and this is by my second, very close second favourite brewery, Brew York. Let's hope it takes the bitterness away of that horrible beer we just had. Right, Northern Monk, uh, just for the record, he's slating that last beer. I'm not. Looks 
very similar. You've, you've charmed me. It smells different. Delia Biff. Delia Bifter. <laughs> Dealers of Bifter. <laughs> we don't know what Bifter is. What? It smells similar to the. the it's got that bitterness to it as well. Well, this should be an absolute Carmen Miranda. What if it's exactly the same beer? <laughs> <laughs> and we, we uncover some sort of mental. Yeah. Oh, you've been pulling our pants down there's, all this. There's only really one brewery yeah. that brews all of the craft. Oh, you've had our pants down and it's owned by Fosters. <laughs> Quite watery. Very fizzy. Mm. It's better. It's not got that. Horrible bit of finish. Yeah, that there, yeah, it doesn't have the bitter finish of like. It does still have a bit of bitter finish. It's a bit. It's Look a bit at the sky, it's beautiful. Just B BTW. If I just come on and like all the beers from my favourite breweries, it just means that I'm a sellout. Which is a very accurate. It's accurate, isn't it? Because I've. Yeah. Or I'm a fan. Like, it's like, you know, like if you, you're a fanboy of a band and they bring out. And you know the music's gash, but you're still like, yeah, it's good. Convince yourself it's good. It ain't that good. Try harder. Never let an e a ferret lay eggs anywhere near you. <laughs> <laughs> ferret eggs. Oh, they're horrible. They're really hard to get out. Well, they're quite rich. They don't even come out and wash. <laughs> they're rich. <laughs> Fairy eggs, fairy eggs, I'm leaving all this in. Fairy eggs, fairy eggs, I'm leaving all this in. Oh, fairy eggs. Comment down below if you, oh, what? Yeah, man. Do you know what? In a world of wacky flavored beers, it's nice to have a hazy New England style IPA. Yeah. Not messing about. Novelty beers are fantastic because you can go from one to another and you like one of them's mango, one of them's sour, one of them's like sea salt, whatever. It's great and it's exciting and it is good, but sometimes it's nice to have a really just nice beer in it, like a good quality. Because that's what brought us here in the first place. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really. Have you ever it. seen a midge with depression? Have you ever seen a suicidal midge? <laughs> Suicidal Midge, my favourite band actually. Suicidal Midge's new album's out this week actually, we can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely oh. a heavy metal band. That's like a, you know, like a horse uses its tail to get shit yeah. out of. That's what you do. You look like the lead singer of fucking... <laughs> Was it? <laughs> no, you look like the lead singer out of the Suicidal Midge, actually. <laughs> I am. You know, but you would be, like, if I had imagined what the lead... No, in fact, the drummer of Suicidal Midge. <laughs> but we've decided... Drew D chose to go for bonfire look. It was a good choice in end because we've got. I'll show you. We've. Uh, we never normally have a fire beyond our means, but because we're on the beach and the tide will just take it away, and there's loads of driftwood, we thought, let's go for it. And look at that. <laughs> the beastie are. There's D, Sergeant D. Tribal.
Hobbit. Have you shaved Hobbit? Good. A lot of vino, yeah. Red as well, which is good. Get it all in. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big nightcap. Oh, the final toast, look. Bourdain. That's what he would have wanted. Roaring fire on beach, freshly cooked foraged crabs. A foraged crab ramen. And an Overly generous cup of wine. <laughs> Bodin. Sometimes it's fine or waves of sadness. Sometimes I see clear Most times I'm mad And then In those times I scream Into the abyss of the unseen Unheard daydreams Absurd and obscene Tell me what do they mean At points I lose focus No choice but to hold this Hot mess together with wood and roses No trace. Oh, battery's going. Still smouldering. But it's on the tide line, so that'll deal with that. We've left nothing but some flat grass and a flat grass, a few crab shells, and certainly a slack handful of brain cells on this one, wasn't it? <laughs> but <laughs> night one took its toll, didn't it? We had a heavy one. Woo! Heavy one. Uh, Joey D's got a bag, that's a bit of our, all we had was some crushed up cans but we filled it with detritus from the beach, so big operation clean up, if you take away a little bit more than you came with every time you come to the beach, and everyone does it, there you go, fighting back against the plaggy. You don't want one of these falling on bonds. Look at that. Pretty cool. I'm staying here. Another lovely weekend at the coast. I best put this camera away while I skip over all these rocks. <coughs> I bid you farewell. No choice but to hold this. Hot mess together with wood glue and roses